What is up guys, Marv Talks Wrestling here. Welcome to my WWE SmackDown Live results review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the July 26th episode of SmackDown Live. I'm gonna call it SmackDown Live because I'm really just caving into this thing. And it was utterly disappointing. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, by the way, I'm wearing a beanie because my hair is shit. But um, yeah, th th thank you for watching. Thank you. Anyways, we got SmackDown Live. Um. Like I said, it was a pretty disappointing show. Compared to Raw, it was a complete dumpster of a show. I'm sorry to say, there was like only two good spots in the in the whole show, to be honest. So let's get straight into it. So first up, we got Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan announcing a huge match while addressing the SmackDown Live locker room. They announced that there will be a six-pack challenge in the main event of SmackDown to determine the number one contender for Dean Ambrose's WWE World Championship, and that's exactly what they're calling it, the WWE World Championship, just weeks after calling it, reading, first they called it the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, then they called it the WWE Championship, and now they're calling it the, the WWE World Championship, what, Jesus Christ, you could, what, what's the explanation behind it, don't, don't just say random announcements and expect the fan to just c catch up. Uh, oh god, it, it's, it's just a whole mess, man. <laughs> but really, it's not so bad. Uh, they also announced that the five of the six members would be Bray Wyatt, uh, John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, Baron Corbin, and AJ Styles. Then they announced six member would be would be determined by a battle royal. So the winner of the battle royal uh, is a six entrant in the six bat challenge. For the WWE World Championship in the World Contenders match. So yeah. Uh, we had everyone in the locker room. Apollo Crews ended up winning the whole thing. Good for Apollo. Kane being the last one eliminated. I think it was good booking there. Because it made Apollo look strong. It made he eliminated a veteran. Even though that veteran eliminated guys like Kalisto and Zack Ryder. But still. Apollo looked strong. Gave us something fresh. You know. Took out the the veteran who's been around for almost 20 years so yeah good for Apollo Crews good for him up next we have Becky Lynch versus Natalia and holy crap this was a cluster f so the first match at Battleground it was a pretty pretty rubbish match really in my opinion Natalia should not have won the match I do agree maybe she She's trying to solidify herself as a veteran, someone who's content to be, you know, a reliable opponent. She lost two pay-per-views in a row, so she can't lose three. But still, Becky Lynch is one of the newer women. Uh, good thing she won tonight, like I said, one of the only good spots in tonight's episode. And then the aftermath of the match was just a huge mess. First off, we have Alexa Bliss coming out. I say, holy crap, Alexa Bliss versus Becky Lynch. That feud is going to be great. Nope, Naomi comes out as well. I'm like, okay, Naomi can be good. She's underrated. Carmella comes out. Okay, Brady making this fabulous. And then Eva f***ing Marie comes out. And oh my gosh. Uh... In case you didn't know, I really do not like Eva Marie. I don't care how good she looks. I don't like her. But unfortunately, she was there. And then that's it for the segment. That's it for the women. Compared to what happened on Raw. Really, it's just... They're just clutching at straws right now. One good spot in the show. Shelton Benjamin is coming back. I'm like, holy crap, Shelton Benjamin. And then he ends up jobbing to Mojo Rowell. I'm just kidding. He's not going to job. I'd like to see him go after the Intercontinental Championship. Really, because he's a very underrated wrestler. His ladder spots at WrestleMania, it's great. He's a great wrestler. So yeah, it's great to see Shelton Benjamin coming back soon. Uh, hopefully, he'll make a big impact to the main roster. Up next, we have Miss TV. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, these Randy segments. Are, I, I like Randy Orton, but these segments, just they're just not my cup of tea. I'm just going to get straight into it. Miss TV, Randy Orton offered a match. Miss... Declined the match, then Maurice accepted for him. Then they had a match. Rainy Orton won after hitting two RKOs. That's it. And then, uh, we, some dude was in the ring. He Slater came out. He attacked that dude. And then He Slater was 
Um, he was upset that he didn't get drafted. He's the hottest free agent. Shane McMahon says he's looking at one, but he's not looking at Heath Slater. He was looking at Rhino. That's right. Rhino hits the gore on Heath Slater. Um, it was great to see Rhino back, but sad to see Heath Slater made into a huge joke. But you're hearing it from me. You're hearing this from me. From me first. I've never, I have not seen it anywhere else. Heath Slater... Is at the same status as The Undertaker. The Undertaker has not been drafted yet either. If he Slater gets drafted, he'll be drafted before The Undertaker. You're hearing it from me. From me first, July 26, 11, 13 p.m. July 26, 2016, you're hearing it from me. Sign that Marv. Up next, finally, we have the six-pack challenge as the main event. And oh my god. It, it, it was a good match. It was a good match. Just not the finish I was looking for. I was looking for AG Styles, maybe even Apollo Crews. But Dolph Ziggler, I actually love Dolph Ziggler. He's one of my favorite superstars. He's a workhorse. He's very underrated. But he's lost so many matches to Baron Corbin. He does not look like someone who's a reliable contender for the WWE World Championship. He's, con he's fighting for a world title SummerSlam, but he does not look like... He looks weak. That's my problem. That's my problem with Dolph Ziggler. He's being made to look weak. He jobs to Baron Corbin these past few months. And now, all of a sudden, he's the number one contender for the WWE World Championship. And then him and Dane Ambrose had a face-off on SmackDown. Um, so, to end the show. And like I said, it, compared to Raw, it was a complete shit show. Um... Really, they gotta do better. They gotta do a lot better than that. Probably, it's probably the extra hour that's like making Raw better. See, that's the problem with the draft. Making now SmackDown looks a lot weaker than Raw. I still have some faith in SmackDown. If they build up this rivalry better, if they make the women not look like a huge cluster, then you can build a successful show. You're you're going up against Raw, the amazing Raw that happened uh, last night. Compared to this SmackDown, it's not great. It's not looking good for SmackDown Live. So, And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my results and review. And if you did, please leave a like. Tell me exactly Tell me what you guys thought of the huge cluster f that was SmackDown last night in the comments below. Um, did you think it was better than Raw? Did you not think it was better than Raw? Tell me in the comments below. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the underscore real Marv link to that down below main channel gaming channel links down below as well any support such as liking sharing subscribing is greatly appreciated thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time peace